In this video, I wanted to put together some information related to research and, and testing I've done over the past year, and it's uh, mainly centered around doing uh, GPS denied indoor uh, position hold and navigation. So I'll start off by saying if you guys have any questions or comments, suggestions, I'll put a link to um, our Discord in the video below. I encourage you to join. A lot of these flight tests are in here in the drone flight test channel and uh, please feel free to to share your own uh, experience and ask questions. You can certainly uh, post something beneath the video. I'll certainly respond uh, when I get a chance, but I figured while I sort of embarked on this journey and thought it would be a lot easier, uh, it turned out to be uh, quite challenging. There's a lot of information, as you know, about uh, outdoor flight with GPS. When you bring that indoors, uh, there's a lot of different challenges that you're up against. So I'm going to cover uh, three main uh, sensors, if you will, or cameras uh, used in my testing, and I'll show uh, some example flights. So uh, previously I covered a video that showed how to use the Intel uh, RealSense camera, the T265. As many of you know, that has been discontinued. and uh, mo most recently, we've been working with the Z Mini camera. Now, if you haven't seen this, it's uh, a great camera that supports VIO. And with that, uh, it's quite costly, you know, especially if you're doing a DIY build and uh, it weighs a, a fair amount. And with that, it means you'll need a larger build as well as some compute capabilities. So in this uh, demonstration, I'm using the Jetson Nano, and I'll refer you to uh, the VIO page. This really has a lot of great information about what VIO is about, how to set it up. But the specific use case uh, for this build actually came from uh, the AVR competition. AVR stands for Advanced Vertical Robotics. It's something that uh, drone blocks I have been a part of for the past four years. I've got to work with some great uh, members from the Bell engineering team. And in this repo, AVR 2022, I'll direct you to a package inside of the VMC VIO folder that has a lot of the uh, code necessary to be able to publish this information and to get local position uh, fed into PX4. All of these examples are PX4 based. And uh, let me go ahead and show you guys uh, this position hold flight. So as you can see, it holds position really well. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that's being done with this Bell AVR drone. Once again, uh, the Z Mini, and now there's the Mini 2 available. It is a more expensive uh, camera and uh, does require a larger build. The next two uh, builds that I want to demonstrate uh, make use of optical flow and a distance sensor. The optical flow gives us our uh, X, Y position and the distance sensor gives our Z or our Z position. And at the uh, cheaper end of the spectrum is this uh, PMW3901 sensor. And the one that I specifically used, I shared in a previous video, is uh, manufactured by BitCraze. BitCraze makes uh, Crazy Fly, which is a, a cool little drone. And on the board, you get both your uh, XY through the PMW3901, as well as a distance sensor that will give us our uh, altitude or our Z. So this board is available from BitCraze, I believe. Let's see, there's a version two and uh, this costs about 50 bucks. So you'll need to obviously uh, wire everything in and then you can get uh, optical flow going. So let me demonstrate a uh, small a drone based off of BeagleBone. In this scenario, I'm demonstrating uh, using 
uh, MAV SDK and the uh, basic uh, position NED example. And so what will happen is I'll go ahead and execute the mission and using uh, the BitCraze flow deck with the flow and distance sensor, you'll see that it holds position uh, very well. And then now it's navigating in a uh, box mission. And then here you can see it landing. Now, I really uh, like this sensor because of its uh, size, its lightweight, its affordability, uh, but it does have limitations in terms of uh, what it can see. It struggles in low light conditions, and it also struggles at higher altitudes. But if you want to uh, take a look at this example uh, from Mav SDK, it's the offboard position NED. I modified this a good bit. I'll also mention, since we don't have a, a global position, I went ahead and commented this out. I knew that uh, we had a, a good local position and that would allow us to uh, use the set position NED to fly each of the coordinates uh, in the box pattern. And the last sensor I'd like to cover is the arc flow. This is the one we've most recently been testing with. It uses drone can, it's open source, it's manufactured here in the US. It's really, uh, so far, I've done uh, two builds, a smaller one and then a larger 550 millimeter build. And uh, this thing performs incredibly well, uh, both indoors, even outdoors. The examples that I'm going to demonstrate are both indoor and outdoor with a larger frame and then the smaller frame. I've been talking a bit to Alex. He's the founder of Arc Electronics and just really uh, works hard to support his product. And uh, it really shows in terms of uh, the performance and the ease of installation and use. Now, this sits sort of in between the $400 uh, Z Mini, which uses VIO, and then the cheaper uh, BitCraze, the $50 deck uh, that uses optical flow. So this is art flow. And let me go ahead and demonstrate a couple of examples. So the first I'll demonstrate is just an outdoor position hold test. Very impressive, especially uh, given the bit of wind and uh, flying over grass, you can see that, you know, the prop wash is blowing the grass around, but holds uh, position really well. So this is an indoor with the larger frame, same one that I was just demonstrating outdoor in low light. And I'll move on to demonstrating an outdoor test on a smaller frame. This is a five inch with about a 230 millimeter wheelbase. Not only am I outdoors over grass, I'm at about 10 to 12 feet AGL, uh, low light, flying over grass, and a bit of wind, as you can see from the trees, but holding position incredibly well. Um, so far, I've been impressed with the performance and just once again, the ease of use. It's nearly plug and play by configuring a few parameters and you get a great position hold. And I'll give one more demonstration of arc flow. Now, I've covered this repo in the past. It's a MAV SDK drone show. It's really a cool and powerful repo uh, built on top of MAV SDK. But what I'm going to demonstrate is a, a figure eight. That's this eight shape you can see here that there are these different patterns that we can fly. And what's really cool is you can just specify a few parameters, your altitude, a diameter, speed, all of that, and you get a preview of this trajectory. Now, this is the heart shape. You can see here there's uh, your X, Y, and Z uh, values and distances. But using the CSV creator, 
what it does is once you specify uh, the shape type, it will generate a CSV file of uh, different trajectories that then get uh, read in using MAV SDK. So you can see all of these here. And in this demonstration, I'm doing a figure eight uh, at a very slow speed. So let me go ahead and show this. This is with the larger frame outdoors. And I'll just kind of scrub through this a little bit faster so you can see just how well uh, this is able to uh, hold position and navigate. And then finally we get to our initial takeoff position and we land. So I wanted to uh, just share this bit of information. It's a, you know, been a long road of, of testing and figuring out uh, what makes the most sense for a smaller drone that will ho hold position and is programmable. Really excited about uh, further testing with ArtFlow. And if you guys are aware of any other options, I'd love to hear them. And once again, I'll put a link to the Discord. Feel free to, to jump in. Uh, feel free to chat, uh, ask questions, provide suggestions. I appreciate you guys following along. And until next time, thanks for watching.